Good morning, guys. It's 8.22, and we are dropping off Sterling at her grandma's house. I have an appointment this morning. Yeah, so. Hey, guys. It is 1.17, and we've been back for a little while from our appointment. That was expensive. Um, I thought that it was covered on my insurance. Um, because somewhere I read that, um, if we had to see a specialist and I even looked up like fertility specialist and it said that if you had the kind of insurance that we have, um, that it would be covered, but honestly, I don't remember now this one paper that tells us what's covered on our insurance it does say special to special specialists but I guess a fertility doctor is a different kind of specialist I don't know so we went there and we talked with the doctor which I thought this doctor was so nice I mean he I yeah he was very nice um so he came up with this game plan for us which um, just involved some testing. He wanted to do like the, um, what do they call it? I know it's on here somewhere. Endocrine panel. Um, so he wanted to do that test and then some other tests. It was like a lot of blood work if they wanted, he wanted to do. But Unfortunately, our insurance don't cover anything. Zero zippo zilch. Now, as far as maternity and prenatal and everything is covered 100%. So, maternity, anything, if I was pregnant, everything would be totally covered and we wouldn't have to pay anything. But, unfortunately, they do not. It says does not cover services for infertility testing or treatment. Maternity is covered at 100%. So everything that he wanted to do, um, diagnostic package, just to do the tests on me, let's see, it would cover our initial comprehension consultation, which I guess that's what we just did, which had to pay out of pocket for. Um, then they are going to do a semen analysis and testing for tubal and uterine factor. I don't know what that means. SHG. Oh, I guess that is for the, um, the SHG. Hold on my lock. Hold on my lock. Hold on my lock. Let's see. Where are you? Yep. And that's where they put the dye up in your uterus and then they see to make sure you don't have any block tubes or anything like that. So that it would be included, um, the testing, which is like cycle day three panel, whatever. And then anti malarian hormone, AMH, that would be included. And then the follow up, um, to tell us how everything came out and then from there, and then we'd go from there. So, um, so that $975 just would include all the testing. It doesn't, it won't include any of the um, medication or going to get the blood work. No, go for an ultrasound just to make sure there was good eggs. And then, um, I don't know, really, more blood work. So it was a lot. It's just going to be a lot of money. So we don't know what we're going to do. I mean, I don't know. I want to do it, but that's a lot of money. It's just, I mean, 
I had to pay like hundred and sixty five dollars just just to talk to the doctor they didn't do anything else I just talked to the doctor and my husband had to pay 30 just to answer a couple questions yes no yes no but they also they do have this thing she was telling me that they had where um, you can get a discount if you make under a certain amount of money which I'm sure that would be good benefit as well but on a good note, as I said, we don't know what we're doing. Um, I need to sell more T2s. <laughs> on a good note, um, oh, in November I had the egg quality test, or a, um, I guess it tells you how much, how many eggs you have left. I guess I don't know really what it is. I'll have to look it up. It's the AMH test and I had that done in November and I got the um the thing in the mail that just said it was normal and I was like I didn't know what that meant and even when I went back to the doctor I asked her about it because everything I saw online they would they gave you a number like if your number was this to this you know and so, um, let me even pull it up. It just, it says, if it's very low, less than 0.5, that's considered very low. Low is 0.5 to 1. Low to normal is 1 to 1.5. Normal is 1.5 to 4. And then, um... He was saying that, you know, mine was, you know, really good. He's like, that is just really good. He's like, because I figured you'd probably have a, you know, a 0.5 to a 1. So, I guess he figured I'd probably be in a low range at my age. But, um, actually, a 2.46. So, he was just, like, telling me how good that was and... I kind of, I kind of, when I first saw that number, I was like, wow, because I read this stuff online, so I already knew, you know, what it should be, so back when they first did the test and I was waiting to hear from them, you know, I was thinking, please let it be above one, just let it be above one, <laughs> that's what I kept thinking, and, you know, 2.4, yeah, I feel good about that, <laughs> but anyway, he was like, yeah, with these, you know, with this number, he's like, that just means that you have a lot, you know, um, a lot of good eggs, I guess. And, but he said now, um, even though that, that's good or whatever, you know, your eggs are still as old as you are. I was like, yeah, they're still 42. But I guess that's, I mean, if, if I needed to bring something good out of this experience, at least I know that I got good eggs. But, I don't know what to do. I really, I really want, I really want to do it. I really want to go forward to feel like I'm doing something. Good morning, guys. It is 8 o'clock in the morning, and I really didn't vlog hardly anything yesterday. I'm just have a lot on my mind and I don't know there's the whole fertility thing like what should I do $975 is a lot of money to shell out just to have like tests done but I understand they don't know me and you know they want to make sure that everything's working properly before they give me medication but I also feel like I probably don't need those tests. I mean, I had, I have, I've been pregnant four times. I have three children. So, I'm pretty sure the plumbing works. <laughs> but, like, their test is like, um, a hormone where they check all your hormones and stuff. Um a dye test that they put up into your uterus to make sure that your tubes are open, a semen analysis, and then the consultation 
afterwards um, to tell you the outcome of all your tests and what they want to do. So all that is $975 and they want that before we start any kind of treatment. So, And really all I want to do is get on Clomid. When I was on Clomid with um, the OBGYN, all they did was make you take it on cycle day, I don't remember, you start at 5, I think it was. Anyway, you start it and then you come in, it was, I know it was after you ovulated, but you would come in and they would um, do a blood draw just to make sure that you had ovulated. They didn't uh, do any ultrasounds or anything and this place was like, oh yeah, once we'll give you the medication and then we'll make sure you have good eggs and then um, then you'll come in and we'll do a blood draw to make sure you ovulated. So, sorry. The ultrasound I think was a hundred and they gave me lots of paperwork. A hundred and eighty dollars. So once we pay the nine hundred and seventy five dollars, then we'll have to pay for the medication. I'll have to take the medication. We'll have to go back. I'll have to pay another hundred and eighty dollars just for the ultrasound. I don't know if that uh, the visit will cost, you know, to see the doctor on top of it. Um, and then to check my progesterone, that's going to be another $105. So we're looking at at least another hundred and two eighty five two eighty five and then the cost of their office I'm sure they charge something for that so I don't know so that will be almost like three hundred more dollars on top of the nine seventy five and that's just for one cycle so I have a lot on my mind because I know that's something that I want we don't have the money for so and then also um I don't know it's just been getting a lot of negative comments and stuff on YouTube it's I'm mean, like most of you are really really nice and I made some really nice friends but then there's just some people that just want to cut you down and tell you're not doing something right and um well you didn't do this in your video yeah. I had somebody comment. I'm not even going to say it. It's just stupid. But this, I make these videos because it's my everyday life. This is what I do. And I would love if there was a vlogger out there that, you know, made embroidery and tutus and stuff and vlog their everyday life and I could see how they do things and I could you know if they share some tips and stuff I would I would I think that's why I started making these videos because I was like there's nobody really out there at least I haven't found anyone that does this particular you know in daily vlogs so um anyway that was just so yesterday just wasn't really a great day for me so I didn't vlog hardly anything so I'm gonna add this to the end of the vlog explaining why there's not a lot of stuff but hopefully I'll get back on track um in other words I made that yesterday um, which is just a rainbow tutu it goes with the order but I was going to try to multi-purpose it I made this um, Pig. I thought that would be cute. Uh, I thought it'd be cute if I made some different, um, like iron-on. 
I normally do a lot of the iron on transfer stuff for like Thanksgiving and Christmas and like Valentine's Day. I don't do them for like birthdays. I don't know why. It's just, you know, it's like I need to offer more because these are cheaper than the embroidery sets. The embroidery sets, you know, they take um, like an hour just to embroider out and then you gotta make everything else to go with it. But, and then I also have an order for um, minions, which I have to go and get the shirt for that. I went yesterday and they didn't have any, the one size. They didn't have that. Then I made this. I was just playing around and I was like, oh, I'll just put them on a shirt and maybe I'll break. But yeah, I, I have tons of these um, different images I bought. I found a seller on Etsy and they sold a bunch of clip art designs of different characters. And so I just bought from them. But you can easily go on like Google and search for a character like Shopkins PNG file and you can probably pull one up that you can use but yeah that's it that's all I got to say anyway I will see you guys today but in the next video bye guys